Kia ora, my name is Rani Alani from the liaison team at Lincoln University. Joining me today is Sharon Lucock telling us all about the Bachelor of Agribusiness and Food Marketing. Now, before we get started, Sharon, could you please tell us a little bit about yourself, what you really enjoy about your subject area, as well as your role at Lincoln University? Sure. Yes, my name is Sharon, and I've been a lecturer in agribusiness management at Lincoln University for the last eight years. And prior to that, I was a postgraduate student here. I really enjoy what I teach here at Lincoln because it's really about a applied knowledge teaching to the students and get them to understand the reasons and how to solve the real life problems. And I like Lincoln because it's small. I enjoyed it while I was a student and I think student, uh, my students now enjoy that aspect too, at being small and um, personal and intimate. Awesome, that really does sound like you're passionate about where you are. And I love to hear that. So if we could take a closer look into what students can expect in the classroom and also what they expect to learn, could you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Uh, the Bachelor of Agribusiness and Food Marketing degree program was uh, designed with um, under the demand that a lot of agribusiness um, operations in New Zealand were looking for people who can understand the whole value chain of agribusiness from paddock to plate, from farm to fork. And um, this degree is designed to accommodate that so that it's, it's an inter interdisciplinary degree where we get students to understand about food science, particularly around consumer sensory and about the generic commerce uh, skills, economics, finance, accounting and logistics and about marketing and then tying it all together, we uh, teach management courses in the context of agri-food. Wow, that sounds super interesting. Um, okay, if we take even a closer look, what are the classes like? Is there any practical work involved? Uh, yes, uh, classes are often, we have a lot of case studies and we use a lot of um, applied theory to get the student understand what this means in the real world and for a business, for a farm or for a um, um, restaurant, wh whatever that might be related to agribusiness. So we take students, uh, apart from the case studies, we also take them on to many field trips, many courses involve field trips. We take them into the actual businesses and see how that's being operated and talk to the managers, see what they think and how they make decisions in those situations. And yes, practical work. Yes, we have the requirement of uh, 18 weeks of practical work and that's required to do minimum two out of the four stages of the value chain. Um, that's including production, processing, distribution and marketing and re retailing. So out of those four, they need to pick two. And, but they don't have to do it in New Zealand. They can do it anywhere they want in the world. Okay, so I love that they get to gain experience. If I could say that I was a student and I could graduate with this qualification, what kind of careers would I possibly see myself in? And what sort of demand is there in the workplace? Uh, the sort of degree, um, jobs that students so far or graduates got into are uh, usually around market development, relationship management with clients and in the market. And so far, it's been very popular. That's, um, the degree itself is actually relatively new. We only started offering this degree in 2014. And um, that degree had grown now to be probably the third or fourth largest degree program at Lincoln starting from seven students at the start to now around 50 each year. And students tend to progress, well, our graduates tend to progress quite quickly once they get to their job position because they have the integrated knowledge. They know who to go and find the specific information, what questions to ask. So they get ahead quickly. So it's been very uh, in high demand, I'd say. Students um, don't seem to have trouble getting jobs. All right, so Sharon, if you could give the best advice to school students about, I guess, um, best preparation for university, what kind of subject selection would you, as a lecturer, um, you know, tell them to start studying at school? 
I think a little bit of basic science knowledge would be helpful, but it's not essential. Uh, if students didn't think they had a very strong science background, they can still come through okay. Some social studies would be helpful in terms of understanding the socioeconomic environment where the, our food products are being sold to, because 95% of New Zealand's uh, food products are sold overseas. So we're very much facing the whole world, trying to develop um, international market. And um, a general like, uh, affection of uh, food and cooking probably is helpful to understand how consumers, um, what they like and how they would like their products to be presented. Just think about themselves as final consumers it will be a good starting point. All right, awesome. Thank you so much for joining us today, Sharon. You're welcome. If you have any questions at all, or if you'd like to get more information about what we just discussed, head on over to your career advisor's office and they will be sure to get you in touch with the Lincoln Liaison Officer for your school. Bye for now and see you next time.